Dead Horse Bay, also known as Bottle Beach, Glass Bottle Beach, Barren Island, across from Floyd Bennett Field, uh, <clears throat> Parks found a uh, radioactive waste. I'm not. I would like to say I'm surprised, but I'm not, because uh, the place is contaminated. Um, but radioactive waste, and surprisingly. It said from a pre preliminary report in 2019. So, you think if they would have found it in 2019, if that's true, um, they would have told people before. Now it's coming out. What are we, in August? And I just find it odd that um, it's being brought out now when all these budgets are being cut uh, during this crisis right now in the country. Um so yeah, I'm making this as an awareness video for anybody looking to go to Dead Horse Bay. There are a lot of people that go there to find treasure and um, you know coins, jewelry, any kind of relics. You can see videos throughout YouTube and the internet. Some people, you know, there's one teacher against people going there, um, taking stuff. But it's like a gray area because you can't remove items, but all the items are going into the ocean. It's a landfill, an uncapped landfill. Now, is there a correlation between um, Robert Moses and this contamination that we keep finding? Um, Brookfield Landfill in Staten Island. Contaminated, Robert Moses Project. They capped it. Supposedly they capped it. It's safe now. Now it's a park. Great Kills Park in Staten Island also. Found radioactive waste in 2001. After 9-11, the NYPD did a land survey and found radioactive stuff in the soil. Previously reported as possibly a dentist x-ray. But it wasn't that. It was much worse than that. And these studies seem to take years and years. No one has the money. Um, I don't want to get into all that. But um, it just goes to it just surprises me that in New York the people that say they're so pro environment and they go to other countries to support something about you know the environment and all that other nonsense you know what I'm talking about but we can't even take care of our own area in New York so that's three areas Arthur Kill Brookfield Avenue landfill Great Kills in Staten Island those two. And now Dead Horse Bay. These are only three things that I looked into. How many other Robin Moses projects are contaminated? I don't know. Is there a correlation? I don't know. But um, Great Kills Park is a big concern because when you drive through there, Gateway National Park, both sides as you're driving say do not enter hazardous. So you're telling me those fences, the road is safe, but if you go beyond the fences, it's not safe? No one gives you straight answers. Yeah, study this, study that. But should people be let there? You know, should we be allowed to go on there? Now, there is a marina. You know, I don't know. They want to keep it going to get the money. I don't know what it is. They're very strict on the park. Can't be there at night. All these rules. But the place is contaminated. How can you have all these rules? Like, when is somebody going to clean this stuff up or do something about it? Before you start talking about climate change and all that nonsense... Which, I'm not a denier, I'm just saying, you can't fix the world if you can't even fix your own backyard. Fix your backyard, then worry about the big thing, okay? Got to take baby steps. So, guys, they're saying these deck markers came off Navy ships, okay? They're radioactive. 
I'm just surprised. I mean, is that the best technology you come up with? Some radioactive thing for lights? I guess that's the best they came up with maybe in the 50s or whenever that was. They're finding these deck markers. So, you know, in the middle of this COVID crisis, there's no money, cutting budgets. And now all of a sudden, out of nowhere, they found all these things all over the place. Um, are they looking for radio? Like, Why would you be looking for radioactive waste in Dead West Bay? If you can even look at the videos of all the people that go out there, they look for stuff. They find stuff. Like, what would make somebody go in there and check for this stuff? I'm, so, if any reporters pick up on this, ask them, why were you looking for this? Why hasn't this place been capped? What, well, these three – well, Brookfield supposedly is capped and covered. I mean, they didn't clean everything out, I guess, because it was too expensive. If it's a private corporation, it's a super fun site. If it's the government, they could take – Decades. So, um, why haven't they done anything yet with the uh, gateway? Besides saying they keep doing uh, studies, and why haven't they done anything at Dead Horse Bay right now in the middle of a crisis, talking about radioactive waste there? So, guys, I highly recommend you don't go there. Not only the radioactive waste, there's PCBs, which is very dangerous, especially if it's burning. But um, this place has been a dumping ground for a very long time. Horse rendering, fish rendering plants, eminent domain garbage, illegal, obviously illegal dumping that was done there. You don't know what's there. Just be very careful. Um, I'm not going back. I went a couple times. Luckily, I had gloves on. This is just a awareness video. If anybody thinks they want to go there and find something cool, I've seen models on the beach modeling. They're hardly dressed. You got to you got to be out of your mind to do that. So um, it's my son in the background. Um, so yeah, just a PSA. Be careful. And um, if you want to know about your own areas, write a letter to them. Write to your congressman. Your, well, this is more of a state issue. Write to your state assemblyman. State senator. What's going on in our own area? Worried about everything else. Can't even take care of our own area. The richest state. I don't know if it's, it's not the richest state. But New York is has money. Right now we're going through a crisis. They're talking about radiation out here. What's going on? Is it because it's popular now? They see all these videos that they're saying it. Maybe they knew it all along. I don't know. I'm not a conspiracy theorist. But something's going on. And um, we can't just take what they say. The media's got to go out there and ask them questions. When did you find it? When did you report it? Why were you looking for it? And why hasn't this place been taken care of? This stuff's literally going in the ocean, radioactive waste, all this waste from this island. And right next to it, you got Jamaica Bay where people are fishing, Coney Island, Bryant Beach, all this stuff, you know, it floats. It's not just going to stay there. It's going to float, go somewhere else where people are fishing, where people are um, swimming. So maybe we should take care of our own problems and then focus on the bigger picture. Okay, guys, be careful. Don't go there.